On the day, your altitude will be 100 feet maximum. You exceed this altitude, radar will spot you, and you're dead. Your airspeed will be 660 knots, minimum. Time to target, two and a half minutes. That's because fifth generation fighters wait at an air base nearby. And head to head with these planes and your F-18s, you're dead. That's why you need to get in, hit your target, and be gone before these planes even have a chance of catching you. This makes time your greatest adversary. You'll fly a route in your nav system that simulates the canyon. The faster you navigate this canyon, the harder it will be to stay under the radar of these enemy SAMs. The tighter the turns, the more intensely the force of gravity on your body multiplies, compressing your lungs, forcing the blood from your brain, impairing your judgment and reaction time. So for today's lesson, we're gonna take it easy on you. Max ceiling, 300 feet, time to target three minutes. Good luck. The target is one minute 30. We are two seconds behind. Increase to 480 knots. We gotta move, Coyote. Copy. Increase the speed. Oh, shit. Why are they dead? We broke the 300-foot ceiling. Now Sam took us out. No. Why were they dead? I slowed down and I didn't give her a warning. It's my fault. Was there a reason you didn't communicate with your team? I was focusing on... One that their family will accept at the funeral. None, sir. Why didn't you anticipate the turn? You were briefed on the terrain. Don't tell me. Tell it to his family. Hey, man, ease up. The canyon's getting tighter. Negative payback. Increase your speed. You're going too fast, man. Well, no harm in being ahead of schedule. Damn it, slow down. I can't stay on the course. Ah, oh, you're gonna hit the wall! Watch out, watch out, watch out! What happened? Well, I flew as fast as I could. Kind of like my ass depended on it. And you put your team in danger and your wingman's dead. They couldn't keep up. Rooster, we're 20 seconds behind and drop it! We're fine. Speed is good. Increase to 500 knots. Negative yell, hold your speed. Rooster, we're late. We're alive. We'll make up time in the straightaway. We are not gonna make it. Just trust me, maintain your speed. We can make it. Why are you dead? Your team leader up there. Why are you, why is your team dead? Sir, he's the only one who made it to the target. A minute late. He gave enemy aircraft time to shoot him down. He is dead. You don't know that. You're not flying fast enough. You don't have a second to waste. We made it to the target. And superior enemy aircraft intercepted you on your way out. Then it's a dogfight. Against fifth generation fighters. Yeah, we'd still have a chance. In an F-18. It's not the plane, sir. It's the pilot. Exactly. There's more than one way to fly this mission. You really don't get it. On this mission, a man flies like Maverick here, or a man does not come back. No offense intended. Yet somehow, you always manage. Look, I don't mean to criticize. You're conservative, that's all. Lieutenant? We're going into combat, son, on a level no living pilot's ever seen. Not even him. That's no time to be thinking about the past. What's that supposed to mean, Rooster? I can't be the only one that knows that Maverick flew with his old Lieutenant, man. That's enough. Or that Maverick was flying with his old man. Lieutenant, that's enough. Hey, 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 that's enough. You son of a bitch. Come on. I'm cool. I'm cool. Hey, 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 hey. That's enough. He's not cut out for this mission. It's enough. You know it. You know I'm right. You're all dismissed.